Hello, welcome to Satya Inspired a Movement class. Uh, this is called The Whale Song or Womb of the World. The whale comes to me as an ancient symbol of creation. The power of communication and song is one of the whale's best known secret. Sound is the creative force of life. This card reminds me that singing is breathing. Responding to sound feedback is part of what the whale teaches. So if you've done a satya class with me before, you know that this is a very slow rocking about really heavy and yet pulsating practice that is satya, a bit of a dance of your aliveness. And for this, the whale's message works so well with this dimension of feedback. And so joining your palms at the chest, uh, being present for the next 25 minutes or so, I call on the whale's wisdom and message. I let her and I let myself be in the womb of the world as I practice this. So... I'll just gain awareness of my whole body. I will drop into my bones and I'll start to simply move my chin one way and then the other, but see how I'm just um, oscillating my shoulders at the same time. So sometimes I think I'm trying to reach something on my right side and then I'm reaching something on my other side. So take the time to find the rhythm for this. Uh, so I'm just doing it on the right side for now. Do it on the two sides, just filling it up, feeling it out, and then doing it solely on one side, on your own rhythm, your own time, slowly. Uh, Noticing your breath, uh, this personal sound of your breath, this personal hum. We'll go on to the other side. So the neck is involved. Take your time uh, welcoming in the cracks, uh, the heaviness, the difference of each side here. So keep doing it on the left, uh, releasing the neck, releasing the shoulder blades. Reaching down here. And starting to regulate ourselves with the rhythmic nature of the satya movements and methods. Continuing on that same side. Uh, so pulling the right arm and looking on the opposite side. Sliding the right arm down and looking on the left. Slide and look. And we'll do the opposite. So now I'm sliding my left arm down and mm, I'm looking on the right. So slide the left, look to the right. Slide the left, looking to the right. Playing with the cross motion of the body is such a great way to self-regulate here. The nervous system, to find an equilibrium, to find a balance. Uh, so 
Hopefully you got the playlist, the women of the world to sing to this class. Uh, we got my little pup in us on the pillow having her grand snooze. <laughs> and from here, let's transition and release your fingers behind your head. Um, and take the time to just settle here. Uh, we'll slide the body onto the right side, uh, making the left side of the body nice and heavy. Uh, I like to think there's a little sandbag onto my left thigh, onto my left knee, and onto my left heel. I let my body drop here. And then I'll start sliding. I'm, I was having a little issue with my blanket. Uh, I find actually the best type of, um, I like doing Sentia best on the carpet. So I have a rug there beside me. I usually do it um, right on the carpet. So going on to the other side, again, taking nice, long, you can clearly see, I love that I'm seeing my body, like really taking, expanding, big, big breaths in and out, finding more space in the physical body, but also in all the dimensions of our human experience. So on your own, finding a good rhythm here. Mine was pretty slow. Going from one side to the other. Such a great ilia, so as release here, especially in the front of the body. And then I'll take my right elbow and I'll pull it up and down. I'll pull it up and down. I'll pull it up and down. Be feeling the feedback throughout. Uh, okay, sensing the body, connecting to a felt sense. You develop a personal language to your movement practice. And then we'll do both. So we did right, we did left, now we do both. Uh, so I like to think of it here, your arms kind of like you're doing cobbler's legs, but with the arms. So we'll go up and down. Bending the left knee, bending the right knee, and we'll continue the undulation through the spine with a recline cat cow here. Uh, so unwinding the spine, uh, taking the time for this to be kind of full body experience, nice and slow, rhythmic. Spiralic almost throughout the spine, that your breath being a vortex. So, optional here, you can go from one side, then the other again, playing with the cross dimensions of the body. And so, see how I'm going one way, I'm not crunching at anything, I'm really going with the waves. I just had to slide down here. So, I'll go. So my knees are bent. I'll go on my left side. I'll find the heaviness. And now come up on that same side. And then come down. Slide on the right. Come up on that side. back down and to center slide on the left 
come up and down and slide back okay find your own personal and I even recommend if you wanted to pause and kind of figuring um, I mean you could do this for um, you know as long as as you wanted to really ran through the spine um, also a lot of this idea movement I find they're really they feel really awkward at first and so it's just familiarize yourself um, but I, I think what I like is, is exactly that you know the new movements that um, are in the body um, really it's synced to my nervous system in the new places I find in my body it's also new new places I find in my nervous system and the way I can take on things so we'll slide down and back to center okay a few more on each side Okay, so now extend both legs out, have the arms along side of the body, uh, and we will prepare for um, the next method. It's really nice to integrate what we've just done into a shavasana here. Uh, I'll get you to bend the right knee, uh, extend the arms to the side, uh, palms face down. Uh, you'll bring the right knee towards the midline, up and over a little bit, and look on the other way. So circling the knee away from the midline and then towards the midline as I look the other way. Okay, so this is another movement that takes a bit to really get a grasp upon. Perhaps looking at me for a few and then trying it within your own body. An incredible low back release. Uh, and again, playing with the spirit nature of the body. Sinking and connecting to your breath one movement at a time. Soften the jaw. Notice your extremities here. Notice how the right foot doesn't go off the mat. It's just like a boat kind of rocks one way and then the other. Okay, and then I'll release that side and I'll go on the other side, bending the left and the same, circling the knee, going towards the midline and then back to center okay I will let you do this as I stay here in silence
and coming to Shavasana. Let's lift the right knee back up. Uh, and we'll go back to that side uh, as I roll about. And then I'll lift the right arm off the floor. And to come back. So let's do it again. We go midline, lift the arm off the floor. And finding the extension that feels good for you in this moment right here, in this womb of the world moment right here. Registering the feedbacks, developing your personal sound. And lifting the hand. We'll take on the other side. And we'll do the same thing with the lifting of the hand. So bring the left knee to midline. Reach and pull off the floor here. Notice if your jaw is tightened, take the tongue off the roof of the mouth. Continuing the cycles. I go pretty deep here. Yours doesn't have to look like me. Make yours look like you. Extending both legs out and go ahead and extend the arms. Big belly breath, big Buddha belly breath. It's safe for me to listen to my breath, to listen to my own sound. Taking in the world, feeling held. few more moments here. So go ahead, extend your arms out, palms face up. This time, bend the left knee. Bend the right knee. And we'll place the knees onto the right side for a twist, okay? So both knees on top of one another. We'll come back to center. I love this one so much. And we'll bend the knees back in. 
go on the left side and extend the knees back up. So I think you know where this is leading, where we bend the knees, come up onto one side, extend, and go up on the other side. So it's really like a dance with your legs. It felt really, really therapeutic when I was doing it, almost like a rinse of sorts. continuing on one side and then the other love how I was almost becoming a seaweed there and then I let myself collapse so I rearranged myself and we'll end with bending the knees a little rock in motion lift knee forward right knee forward And end in a really long and luxurious shavasana here. The womb of the world, the whale, okay, this idea of feedback being the doorway to the present moment. A few more moments here together in practice. Thank you so much for practicing satya with me today. Namaste.